Greetings and welcome to a color compare of blue contrast and speed paint. Here we have six contenders, three on the army painter side and three on the citadel side, to see which of these colors are similar enough that you don't need both or different enough that maybe you want to pick up one from the other line that's not your maybe usual line. And so I want to start off with showing our army painter colors because there is something in here that really surprised me and that is that magic blue and that high lord blue have a pretty similar kind of feel to them they are barely different so if you kind of look at the magic blue you look at the high lord blue they're barely different in the overall color feeling where they're the most different is kind of in how the color behaves. And so you'll notice here, ignore the eyes on the High Lord Blue where I didn't get the paint quite down in there. I didn't want to add a second coat to maybe throw off the color comparability. You can see the deep and the gouges on the top of the skull. You can see how the deep recesses settle. But you do notice that the highest areas on this High Lord Blue are quite a bit lighter than the high areas in this High Lord or the Magic Blue. So the magic blue here is more of a maybe consistent color, whereas the high lord blue has a little bit more of a, a gradient or contrast. The, the big difference here is cloudburst blue. So cloudburst blue here, a very kind of grayish purpley kind of color. It definitely is a blue, but it's definitely more of that stormy kind of storm cloud blue. So Keep that in mind on the army painter side. I would say, um, just real quick, between these two, get the one that behaves how you like it. You probably don't need both, though, eh, I don't know, owning all of them or you know, just getting the complete set of the army painter speed paints is still not a bad idea. On the Citadel side, three very different colors here, and we're of course going to compare these to the army painter equivalents. So we have Talisar Blue, which is a very kind of, um, not, not a lot of contrast there. It doesn't really sink, sink into the recesses. I think where you're seeing the light piece of the skull there is more of a coverage issue. Then we have Ultramarines Blue, lots of good highs and lows there, really liking that one. And then Leviathan Blue is that kind of darker, almost a little bit of a purpley blue, but definitely darker than this Ultramarines Blue. So we do have a good set of three different blues here on the citadel side now the ones we're going to want to compare of course from those two or at least i hope this is what you're thinking this is what i'm thinking this talisar blue let's pull it up at the top there talisar blue compared to magic blue very similar in fact i i doubt if you shuffle these around i doubt i could tell you which one is which even after kind of studying them Right, of course, you know, if there's inconsistencies and things I'd be able to memorize on these sticks, but if you had two identical swatches of these colors, I doubt if I could tell the color apart by color alone. Looking at Talisar Blue next to High Lord Blue, we're not surprised to see it's pretty similar. Again, the major difference there is how the High Lord Blue pulls away. So with the Talisar Blue, you don't have that option. If you have these two, you would have the option of how you like it to pull away. We're not going to compare the Talisar Blue against Cloudburst because they're definitely different um, different categories of color. In fact, this video probably could have been two different color compares, but I like to put all the blues together when I can. Here we have the two citadels on the bottom. We have the Army Painter Cloudburst Blue. And something you'll notice right off is that the Cloudburst Blue is more of that purple-gray, whereas I feel like the Citadel Blues are more of a true-to-blue. So... We look at this cloudburst blue on the bottom versus Leviathan blue there. Very similar, you could say. I don't need both. You could pick the one that you want uh, based on this look, which one looks better to you. Cloudburst versus ultramarine blue. Hmm, no, it's not really similar enough for what we would need. We, we wouldn't use those necessarily as an equivalent. I might be willing to, if something called for Leviathan Blue, to use Cloudburst Blue, but I doubt if it wanted 
ultramarine blue that I would do the same. So basically with that we have kind of a few um, conclusions to draw from this and that is first conclusion uh, army painter missing something that's a good equivalent to this ultramarines blue so if that's really the color you're going for you're gonna have to go with the ultramarines blue that's not a bad one though also I wouldn't paint ultramarines with this now that's kind of a weird thing but if you look on my other video on this channel there's a um, video where I paint a space marine using the army painter speed paints and you know, I used uh, magic blue I think it was and, and I said I might have used high lord blue but really um, would you use ultramarines blue and I think it would have the same problem it's too splotchy ultramarine armor you want to be nice and smooth so while I, I would uh, say that's a good color it's not living up to its name as an ultramarines blue as far as the other colors go, um, Leviathan and Cloudburst, you know, pick the line that works better for you. If you're going all in on the Army Painter, I doubt I'd also buy Leviathan Blue. If I have both Magic and High Lord Blue, I would not be buying Talisar Blue. I think if I already owned all the Army Painter, there could be a reason I would buy Ultramarines Blue. Otherwise, I'm going to stick with those Army Painter Blues for sure. Is there just one paint here that I think fits all of the needs or, or would work for all these colors? No, you're going to have to buy at least two. I think you're going to have to get at least two colors if you want, you know, both kind of this, um, you know, lighter, shinier blue and this darker, cloudier blue. You're going to have to get one paint from each color if you plan on painting both those colors. So there you go. Do keep in mind, of course, that the Citadel paints are about twice the price of these army painter paints and so if you can get the army painter paints where you are that might influence your decision fairly significantly i don't know otherwise i would say good offerings from all of these uh, for sure the last thing i will mention of course the army painters do come with those mixing balls preloaded in them you'll notice this little dot on the lid of the Ultramarines blue, that's because I put a mixing ball in it, and the reason why, if you can kind of see it up here, hard with the way the lighting is, but this Ultramarines blue has quite a bit of a white, I don't want to call it powder because it's obviously suspended in a liquid, but it's a white pigment, a solid pigment of some kind that took me a while to shake up. And so you do want to watch out for those. Uh, the Talisar blue does not have that, the Leviathan blue does not have that, but certainly this ultramarines blue did anyways i hope this video is helpful for you in choosing the right blue contrast or speed paint for your project let me know what you're working on with these paints i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as always thanks for watching now let's get gaming